Hello and welcome to another edition of the podcast. Today we will be discussing about uh, people um, who are making a difference uh, in the London Borough of Tahamnes. And we have a special guest uh, today. Uh, we have Anwar Mia, uh, who lives in Bethnal Green. Uh, he is a community activist and also a therapist who works for the NHS. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Anwar. Assalamu alaikum, Ruhul Bhai. How are you today? Well, I'm salam. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. And, and yourself? Alhamdulillah, I'm Ruhul Bhai. Okay, nice to see so, you. Yeah, yeah. Nice to have you on our program. So um, I'm going to ask you about uh, the work that you do. Uh, it's a very um, unique uh, thing that you do. You, you are a therapist. Uh, can you take us through like how you started uh, your work in, in that field? Uh, and uh, as we go along, I'll be asking you more questions. I mean, um, so how long have you been a therapist for? It's, it's actually an occupational therapist, isn't it? Um, no, actually, it's a, um, um, sorry, um, I'm a, um, a permanent rehab um, um, a physio worker. So I do a physiotherapy, basically. Okay. So, you know, physiotherapy, we work with patients with um, COPD. So okay. people who have a chronic lung condition or breathing difficulties. So I work in the um, the uh, the section where we um, deal with mostly with people with COPD. And I also, you know, let you know what COPD means and everything. Yeah. So do you want to explain what COPD is? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so basically, uh, you know, we work with people with chronic construction, pulmonary disease, disease, which is called COPD. So it basically affects people's um, people's lungs who are um, damaged their lung mostly by smoking. Um, majority of the of our patients who are you know um, who gets referred to our department are people who ex smokers or still smoking. So you know, so it just basically tells you how you know um, smoking can damage your health, your lung. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but you know, at, you know, later on in life, they you know when their um, the lung is damaged, you know, basically it, it does you can't reverse it. You know, do anything about it. So basically, you know, the only thing that you can do you know, exercise, stop smoking, you know, um, be active. So the more you stay indoors, you know, the, the more effect it does on your lung. So how long have you uh, been doing this, Anwar? Um, this, um, on this um, work I've been doing for the last um, uh, five years now, I've been in this department. Right. So, you know, I've been in the healthcare department for quite a long time, 15 uh, years. How are you pointing it? Do you enjoy? No, yeah, very much, very much. It's it's very community based. You know, we work with um, you know, the community around Tower Hamlets. So most of our patient is from Tower Hamlets, and um, what what the advantage that they have, you know, because I'm there. You know, we as a Bengali speaking, you know, as you know, you know, we have um, big Bangladeshi community in Tower Hamlets who speaks Bengali. So you know, we you know, for because of us, you know, me, you know, being part of this department, you know, I. I can you know um, engage with a lot of my or my you know more the Bangladeshi communities you know who who has COPD which is quite you know it's quite high among our community especially in Tower Hamlets. So um, since you've started over the years, um, are you seeing the rates of COPD going up? And if so, uh, what is the reason? Is it going up or down? Yeah, no, no, it's not definitely not going down. It's not going down. You know, it's 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 very high among you know, especially among our community. You know, I would say you know, lo there's loads of factors. You know, especially you know the way we um see health as not very important when we're young. You know, you know our diet, our exercise, our way of um you know, um um life. You know, you know is is you know we we you know we don't seem to you know eat healthy, don't, don't, you know, think about it, you know, you know, especially I, I think the 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 older older generation, you know, they don't realize how important it is to look after your health. And, you know, people smoke, especially smoking, you know, smoking is, is, is the cause of, you know, of not just COPD, it's the cause of lots of, you know, illnesses, you know, in, in, in all communities. Yeah. So, you know, smoking is, 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 is very dangerous. Thing to take, you know, you're damaging your own health. You know, you don't realize it until you something happens to you. Yeah. yeah. Now, so basically, in the old days, like obviously, smoking was normal. Like uh, there wasn't much awareness about smoking and the, uh, you know, damage it can do. Like obviously, I think uh, just about twenty years ago, we 
uh, the world uh, got to know that uh, smoking does uh, mm. cause cancer. Uh, do you find like uh, with all the information around right nowadays, um, the take up of smoking has gone down or is it still the same? What's your take? Yeah, oh, oh, definitely, definitely. Smoking, the take up of smoking has gone down, you know, in, in you know, in especially among, you know, the, the young, I have to say, how it was compared in those days, you know, it was quite advertised, isn't it, in TVs, mm-hmm. billboards and stuff, you know, you know, it was quite fashionable to smoke, you know, people didn't realise it until, you know, many years afterwards, you know, mm-hmm. and especially now with the, I think one effects, you know, people are less smoking, it's probably the price, you know, you know, how much the packets of cigarettes now, but 15 pounds or something, 15, yeah, 16 pounds now, you know, so that's probably one of the reasons uh, a lot of people are, have, you know, probably not less smoking or, you know, doing other things like vaping and stuff has gone up, you know. So there were people who always find a way of like, you know, if one thing's, you know, you know. But then uh, at the same time, that's good news. Like people are actually, you know, the uptake is going down. Or when it comes to smoking, but at the same time, you see vaping, like it's a trend now. Uh, it's really popular amongst the youngsters, and uh, mm. we have we we don't have enough like sort of uh, studies to show what sort of damage you can do. But you know, I've come across a few articles where, you know, um, it does mention that uh, you know, life smoking will probably know about the damages in like 20, 30 years yeah. time. Uh, they because there is yeah. enough evidence or enough studies being done. Um, but I have come across a few articles where it's quite concerning. Apparently, I don't know, one article did mention that it can be more fatal, more dangerous than uh, smoking. You know, so um, do you think there's enough awareness? Uh, you know, is being put out there by the NHS? Um, um, it's a very difficult one, actually, with the vaping. You know, vaping, we don't know what the, what the long term is going to be like. You know, you know, what's the effects going to have on health? In the long term, you know, vaping is is can be for especially for people who who are um in, in you know very um in, you know smoking a lot. You know, for them it does help. A lot of people do seem to be less smoking. You know, going on to vaping. You know, vaping do come across as alternative for some people. You know, who are you know very very addicted to smoking. So you know, it, and even with the non smoking department, they recommend people. Uh, you know, rather vape than smoke, you know, but for the long term, like we said, you know, we still don't know what the effect is going to be, you know, I mean, how I'll it's be going honest, to... I'll be honest, I'll be honest, Anwar, um, I'm a smoker mm-hmm. myself, um, and I'd actually quit, but hopefully, inshallah, at some point, uh, quit. I, I, uh, but I, I, every, time, every, time, every time I see, I, I always <laughs> do yeah. mention Ruhul by you know. so, uh, Yeah, so yeah. basically, vaping, I have tried it, and... Um, I did actually uh, see in an uh, article, like, you know, some, you know, the liquids. We don't know enough about the liquids and what yeah. they contain. Um, you know, so in one of the articles, it did say that it can actually make you weak. And I actually mm. tried it, believe me or not. Like, I tried a recent vape. I bought it, like, a 25-pound vape and the liquid with it. And after, like, smoking it just literally for a day, the next day I actually felt weak. You know, mm. I wasn't the same. Yeah, but they don't know what's in there, isn't it? Because exactly. you know, there's so you many. You don't know what you're vaping. You know, what, what yeah, you're and I know now vaping is like you know so just, popular. Uh, you know, it, yeah, there's so uh, many yeah, liquids. So I many just thought I'd sort of let you know, and obviously people who watch the video will yeah. uh, get to know. And there are uh, yeah. you know, other. Uh, side effects, which will come to know maybe in the near future. Yeah, well, well, uh, uh, well in, in a way, you know, it's not as, you know, it is, it will be, it is bad. I, in a way, a lot of way, I would still say vaping is bad, you know, don't do it, you know. But if you're going to, um, um, if you're going to cut down on smoking and go into vaping, at least, you know, you, you are cutting down on smoking, because smoking does harm more, you know, to your health. Yeah. Help more than vaping for the time being. That's what we know. Yeah. yeah. So the people you see in your hospital, um, what is the demography like in terms of like you know, uh, you know, Asians? Uh, uh, black. Well, I'll tell you what we do. You know, in our department is you know we with it's a called a permanent rehab uh, um a rehab for um for the people with lung condition. You know, so we get referred from the GP. Uh, patients get referred referred to our department from the GP, or sometimes from the hospital from the um. Um, um, for your yeah, from the hospital or the GP. So basically, what we what we do, we first assess the patient, see what they're capable of doing, how bad the COPD is. Um, we do a, like a small um, assessment with them with the physiotherapy, 
And then we do a, a six week course. Six week course basically is a six weeks exercise class that we go through with them. So basically they, they will come to, we have four centers around Tower Hamlets. So I'm, I'm mostly based in the Usmani center. So that's where I do my classes over there with the patient, with the COPD patient. So they will come for um, six weeks, 12 class. We do an hour and a half exercise with them. Um, exercise like, you know, like walking, steps, weights, leg exercise. And there's obviously, you know, there's a um, professional, you know, physiotherapy with us as well. So any questions or issues. And then we do half an hour of education. So basically, basically when you say education on different topics every day, every time, every class, they will have different topics on like, you know, how to manage um, COPD, you know, or, um, um, you know, sometimes mentally as well, you know, because, you know, once you're, um, you know, once you have COPD, that can affect in, in, in other ways as well, like mentally, um, physically, you know, a lot of people have mental issues as well. You know, so we have um, psychotherapies, you know, so we can also um, um, guide people into different different department, you know, if we see, you know, somebody needs other help as well. So it's very important as well, you know, there people get diagnosed, once they're diagnosed, they follow the GP, you know, the specialist doctors, what they ask them to do, you know, and keeping healthy, eat, eating healthy, you know, it all play, plays a part. In terms of like percentages, like what sort of... Uh percentage uh you know uh come to uh you guys uh like from the say from the biological community from the african community and the white community do you have any sort of stats with you i, I would say about 40 percent of our patient is, is the bengali patient you know so yeah. it's quite high 40 yeah. percent of the is quite is, you know mm -hmm. we deal with and you know because um you know one thing I, I you know when I when I see you know especially you know, someone from our community you know I try to like you know tell them how important it is for them to you know you know come out do exercise do our daily activities you know you know come to a class you know people some people don't realize you know how important it is you know to keep to keep active you know but a lot, a lot of these people with COPD don't go out so they're mostly at home you know they're not moving much. Mm. You know they're um you know they're just mostly relying on medication you know, and that's really you know you know once they're addicted to some some of the medication they're thinking you know medication will only make me better but it doesn't exactly. you know you, know, yeah. you basically have to be active yourself as well you know yeah and yeah. we come across especially in our community I have to say Rahul by you know is 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 a very it's a struggle with with with, with patient you know especially with the Bangladeshi communities, we see that it is more easier when we have patients like, you know, the white, you know, the white British, you know, people, you know, they mm -hmm. seem to understand more, you know, they will, they won't miss the lesson, they won't miss their lesson, they will come to regular exercise classes. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry to say, but with the Bangladeshi community, it's really hard, you know, they will come, you know, they will miss class, they will always have, you know, some sort of excuse. So we have to tell them, you know, please don't, you know, miss your class, come to the class, you know, you see the difference afterwards, you know, so, yeah. but, you know, I do my best, you know, to, you know, you know, for everyone. Yeah, this is the thing that I've realized myself as a Bangladeshi myself, um, like, uh, uh, I used to play badminton, obviously I've stopped playing recently because of an injury in my leg, um, you know, you don't see a lot of uh, Bangladeshi people actually doing exercise, even like uh, regular walking, you know. Uh, we're very far behind in, in terms of like exercise here and people don't yeah so there are like certain groups which play regular football here and there and then badminton is quite popular a lot of people play badminton mm -hmm. but when, even like uh, people especially people who are above 40 like especially in our community they just give up from my That's experience right. they just give up like give up everything so we need to obviously you know take up more exercise uh, even, even, even even exercise yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, like, no, sorry. When I say like exercise, it doesn't mean like you know you have to go to gym and do exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't always have to be like you know you have to go to gym and do exercise. You know, even at your home, you know, even just go for a walk half an hour at mm -hmm. least a day. You know, go out. You know, do some stuff at home. You know, light exercise at home. You know, do some movement. You know, especially you know from up four to onwards. You know, we sh you know we should be very careful on what we do. You know, to what we eat. How we exercise, you know, getting proper sleep, you know, everything does count, you know. And you know, with, especially especially nowadays, a rule by you know, as we see, you know, with um, uh, with the doctors, the NHS, you know, we we all know the crisis that they're all facing, you know, with the cuts to NHS budget and everything. And you know, 
community like us, we feel the effect of it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, we we see the effect of it in many ways because you know, our community is in great need of of many of those those health services that provides. You know, and those things yeah. are getting cut and cut every year. You know, so so we need to look after our own health. You know, not just always just rely on you know medication going to make me better. Yeah, the thing that bothered me, Anwar, by the obviously you work for the NHS, uh, you know, hospital. Uh, you know, uh, during COVID, I'm sure you remember, like, you know, the government was telling people to sort of, you know, clap for the NHS, clap for the nurses and the doctors. Uh, but when it comes to, like, uh, you know, rewarding them, you know, through pay, you know, there's very hard, you know, um, uh, like, they take a very hard stance when it comes to, like, yeah. uh, when it comes to pay rise. Uh, that is why we're seeing like doctors are on strike. Yes. Junior doctors are going on strike for the next six months. We're going to see regular strikes, which will affect the service of the NHS. You know, uh, this is the thing that really bothered me. Um, you know, uh, I don't think they're the doctors, the taxes, you know, if anything, if anything, I'm not by the, the NHS workers, you know, teachers, you know, the, they these are the people who should really be awarded because they're really making a massive difference, you know, in, yeah. in any country. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the NHS is uh, really all, like um, on a crisis point, aren't they? Yeah. You know, it, it is. It is. It is. Uh, doctors, it is. Uh -huh. doctors are leaving this country in droves. You know, for other countries because they get better uh, remuneration. Yeah, in other countries, a better facility. You know, you know uh, I've been to the NHS. Uh, yeah, nurses are leaving. I'm... So how can a service like that, like such a big, like service, you know, NHS is one of those. Institutions, you know, we used to be proud of, but not anymore. You know, the service is going down by the day. People are, it on is, an average, people are waiting like six, seven, eight hours. You know, when they go to A and E, you see, uh, it's just going from bad to worse. You know. Anyway, uh, time is limited, and all right. Yeah, let's move on to uh, your community work. Um, obviously, you know, I myself, I'm a community person, and I come across yourself in many meetings and. Uh, what not? Um, I would say I'm I'm nowhere near you. I'm ruled by what you do, so <laughs> no, that's one thing. But you know, it's okay. uh, I, I I usually personally appreciate people who go out of the way after work, leaving their family. You know, this is you know like spending at least few hours a day or even few hours a week. You know, for the community. Uh, so uh, what uh, inspired you to sort of come into community work? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would call myself a community work worker or something. You know, I, you know, I, when it comes to like doing something for people or for anybody, you know, I see this is as as it's a duty for me. Basically, that's how I see it. As you know, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I think you know, as a citizen, not just me, I think everybody has a role to play in you know doing something for the community. You know, it doesn't mean you you, you know you have to do you know, every day or everything, we all do play a part in, you know, helping one another in probably in a different way. Some people might go out of the way, you know, might do more work in the communities and stuff. So, you know, I, I always been like this and I always, you know, um, um, you know, you know, help people that were, you know, somebody needed help or if I've seen something that's not been right, you know, you know, I always want to speak out, or speak out of it, speak out about it, you know. So, you know, whatever I can do, I always try to do. Um, so, you know, this is, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's my duty to, you know, to, you know, wherever I can be and wherever somebody needs me. If I can do something, you know, for the community, for the environment, for the, you know, for the country, anything, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I always give my time, do my best to do that. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think, like, uh, the main issues are in terms as a community worker? What do you think, the, which things are well, uh, yeah, improving? You know, you know a lot of issues. Yeah, um, uh, health uh, health inequality, you know, something like you know, because I work in the NHS, you know, I see that a lot. You know, I think you know we, we you know, our community, uh, you know, uh, you know, in Tower Hamlets, you know, we have been quite disadvantaged in a lot of ways, like you know, when it comes to health, you know, and you know, you know, we don't, we personally sometimes don't take things seriously, and I think you know, um, the NHS, you know, has has cut so much. On, on places like uh, Tower Hamlets and, you know, more of the deprived areas, you know, they always seem to be, you know, have more effect on it. And that affects community like us, you know, and if we don't um, um, speak out and see what's wrong, you know, if we don't all talk about it, you know, you know, we raise those things, you know, you know, 
it, things going to get more more worse than it is now, you know. So we have to speak out, you know, wherever we can, you know. We always have to be for the community. End of the day, that's how I see as myself. So that's one thing. Another thing I would say, you know, like um, um, th there's so many things, you know, you know, education, housing, you know, you know, we see people, you know, it's, you know, it's one of the worst housing situation in the country, probably Tower Hamlets is it is in, you know, overcrowding, you know, mm. and it's not like, you know, it's that recently, it's been for years and years, isn't it, you know? Do you, you think know, enough we, housing is being built in Tower Hamlets? Under Labour it was, you know, the one thing I can say, you know, at least Labour, you know, tried, uh, you know, whenever Labour government has been in power, you know, they always try to at least build some Social housing. That's the only time we probably saw social housing get built, you know, you know. But yeah, yeah. Apart from that, you know, you know, I think we need to do more, isn't it? You know, whichever government comes in power next election, you know, which I hopefully will be Labour, you know. So I think that's one issue, one thing they do take seriously, you know, poverty, housing, child poverty, you know, all those things. You know, we we are very high in Tower Hamlets, isn't it? You know, because I I I've done lots of work in Tower Hamlets actually. With, with, through Troy and Behold as well, you know, I was a peer researcher. I'm still, a, you know, I don't do much work with them. But, you know, what we used to do a lot of research on, like, housing, poverty, during the COVID time. And I was quite shocked some of this uh, stuff that we came up with, you know, you know, we could, re you know, present to MPs, some charities as well, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, did you know, uh, Norby, like, uh, uh yearly you know we need to build like three hundred thousand properties in the uk but uh we only build like hundred thousand yep <laughs> well, well well there you are then you know, they, you know so what do we expect that is why we're like at a crisis point i think uh, housing is the number mm. one issue in the country so when it comes it is. to harness uh, obviously we have a lot of almost like twenty three thousand people on the waiting list yeah um Even look at uh, our hamlets. Uh, uh, not you know we don't uh, the list has been almost the same for the last god knows how many years you know yeah it hasn't gone down but at the same time population is growing the town has had the highest uh, population growth in the whole of the country yeah uh, so yeah shocking. and then yeah. Uh, you know inequality in town this is huge like um, we have the financial district the canary wharf just down the road from you and i um you know um and then at the same time, we have the highest poverty levels in the country. Yeah, yeah we're, 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 we're highest, one, of the, one of the highest. Yeah, it comes up one of the richest and one of the poorest borough in London. Yeah. Right? You know, so, you know, the, you know, there's something must be something must be going wrong, isn't it? You know? Exactly, yeah. You know, so, you know, you know somebody needs... Something, you know, yeah, yeah. About that. yeah. Something needs to be done by um, the authorities, yeah. by the people who represent us, you know. So I think uh, it would be, you know, we've been failed in uh, many ways, you know, by uh, uh, you know, authorities and whatnot. Um, so in town, it's like, um, obviously, you know, like most of the country, we haven't built enough houses and uh, almost all councils have, you know, uh, waiting lists. But town has one of the highest waiting lists. Uh, yeah. Do you think like uh, town lists, uh, uh, like some councils, um, Neighboring councils uh, are actually housing people outside of the borough in different towns. At least, and we're lucky in town that like that is in the case. You know, they house people mm -hmm. in like neighboring boroughs, but not in other cities. Yeah. You know? Um, I think in Newham, I think they were like housing people in like places like Brighton and north of England, England, like oh. people used to be homeless. You know. Yeah. Um. So, uh, housing. Do you think uh, you know enough is being done to address? Housing and uh, what's your view? I I, I think that, that there's still that there can be a lot to be done. You know, I think you know you know you know especially the finance. You know, I think at the end of the day it comes to money, isn't it? You know, mm. you know you know how much money is government? You know, you know giving to boroughs like Tower Hamlets, Newham. You know, to house people or to provide homes for people. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's a good you know. point. That's a good point. The government, you know, like obviously is cutting the budget uh, almost by. Yeah. Or, on average, about twenty percent every year. To each yeah, so. councils are struggling. We've never seen this uh, in the past. Like council, uh, councils are going bankrupt as we speak. Yeah, Berlin council went bankrupt. Council. Uh, yeah, council so went this, bankrupt. This uh, council is on the verge. Southern council council is on the verge. 
Uh, there's yeah. many others uh, which I uh, can't actually name at the moment, uh, but I know there's many councils across the country who are suffering as a result. And God knows what is happening. Like, things are uh, supposed to improve you know, through time, but it looks as if like, it's going the opposite way. No, it's not. It's you know, not. It's um, for years and years we will see it. <laughs> <here laughs> well. I mean, if it continues like this, it will become a third world country. <laughs> like, it this time. No, it it, it is. Know? It does feel like it sometimes, yeah. yeah and uh, that is why, you know, that, that we find, uh, you know, the young generation, they don't want to sort of... Um, engage in politics, engage engage in community because they don't see the improvement. They don't no. see the development, you know. You know, everything is being cut. And at the same yeah, time, that's... because of the cost of living, everything is going up. People are struggling. If you look yeah. at the uh, uh, food banks, like uh, 10 years ago, a million people were going to food banks. Now, three and a half million. million people yeah. go to food banks on a regular basis. And uh, in time, uh, we have so many food banks. I think uh, more than 70 food banks, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which is very sad. Uh, and uh, all across the country, you know, people, uh, like I was watching a program the other day. And so there was this couple there, you know, so both of them used to work. And then one of them lost their job. And as a result, they were struggling to pay the mortgage and the bills. And they had, you know, they were actually basically relying on the food banks. And these mm -hmm. are like professional graduates, you know, who had jobs basically. You know, this is where we have ended. You know? But they said there's more food bank than there is, uh, you know, branches of McDonald's now in this country. You know, very yeah, sad. One, I, was, I was reading, you know, so yeah, you know, people are a lot of people are relying on food bank, not just people who 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 are, you know, out of work on food bank. People, even people who are working are, are, you know, sometimes, you know, going to food banks. So, you know, we, is, this is the reality now, you know, yeah. this is the reality of the country, you know, yeah. so we, we're not going to see any change until I think, you know, that's what I think, you know, until we see a change of government, you know, hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. there will be a new government, you know, soon, you know, and then, you know, we just have to wait and see, you know, and hopefully there will be some change, you know, there has to be some change, mm -hmm. you know, otherwise, you know, we can't just carry on like this, can we, and see poverty all around us, you know, getting worse, uh, worse and worse mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, in all aspects, like uh, the standard of living uh, mm. in the UK has gone down. So, yeah. In all aspects, like uh, we used to be in the top five, but I think we're in the um, around like thirty fourth or thirty fifth instead of uh, in terms of like standard of living. Yeah, so which is very worrying, you know. Um, things aren't going in the right direction, especially the the current government, the Tories. Um, they've decimated you know, a lot of the services you know that we used to take granted for uh we used to be proud of um the nhs so if you look at the, all the public services you know they're on the brink of collapse you know um so god knows you know uh, what's going to happen uh anyway yeah, and, um, you know, like i said um, you know like i said Rulba, you know those sort of things you know affects our community more than you know it's always like you know look when the COVID happened we was the most affected communities, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, we lost, you know, our community people lost their jobs, you know, financially, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, you know, struggling, you know, you know, people had to go to food bank or, you know, yeah. people had, you know, you know, when it comes to, um, um, you know, the economic crisis, you know, it all, it does affects on people, you know, the working people like us, you know, the, the poorer borough like Tower Hamlets, Newham, Hackney, you know, those are the people who struggle more, you know, mm -hmm. and it falls on those sort of people, you know. You know, those are the people who whose life, you know, have to go, you know, have to face all those things, you know, first. Yeah. So in terms of like, um, you know, uh, driving, car parking is a like contentious issue in uh, town homeless. What is your take? <laughs> is that is that regarding the parking and the and the um? The... Yeah, generally like uh, driving in town homeless, parking, car ownership. I personally, you know, um, think, you know, we should not be closing some of those roads, you know, because I think those roads has made more congestions to other roads. You know, we we closing, you know, one road and we open, you know, you know, we block another two roads, you know, in the side. So, you know, I don't see, I just don't see how it, you know, um, you know, it's 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 making the air more cleaner. Whereas, you know, somebody's driving, you know, probably. You know, uh, another ten or twenty minutes 
more, you know, just by you saving one road, you're polluting another three roads. So I personally think, you know, some of those road closed that we have done previously, we should look at them, you know, we should not close any more roads, you know, we should consult with the with the resident, you know, and you know, it, 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 and and other fact is, you know, Tower Hamlets, we own the the less compared to other boroughs, we have we are the less car owners. I don't know if you know that rule, right? Lowest car owners know. in London, yeah, that yeah, is true. Yeah, you know, yeah, and then we the one who, who are, you know, why is our boroughs so so populated, so so polluted? Then you know, so we actually making some of the um, you know stuff we creating some of the more pollution. So yeah. I, I I would personally think you know I'm not a big fan of those. It's closing the yeah, I, I, I was totally against LTN from the beginning. It's low traffic LTN. values. It's just another way yeah. to make money. It doesn't really help. It is, when it when is. you actually close the off roads, okay, the traffic gets built up on the main roads. So it's where are you helping? Way. How are you helping the environment? Environment, you know. And why is it we will get punished for our hamlets? Work, they will go yeah. to work. You know. Buy car and, and, and they return and, home. And, and, yeah, and, and anything we, the bar, we have the less car owners in the country. And another reason, to... another reason we have a high pollution is because we're literally in the middle of the city, near this city, London City, and yeah. Docklands, and like thousands and thousands of people come to work from other parts of London. You know, so that's that's why I think uh, if I'm not uh, uh, wrong, like uh, roughly about twenty three percent. Of the residents in town as well, cars, which is very low, like compared to of other course, people, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean like that, that was one of the reasons, cars, like, uh, no. why uh, the Labour Party in town did very badly in the last uh, yeah. in 2022. No, 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 we have to be we have to be frank about it, you know, sometimes some yeah. of the things you know, if we did, did, did do wrong, you know, some of the things you know, we should we should talk about it, we should have we should be feel to say, you know, yeah, this is something like you know, we shouldn't have not done or you know, should done things a bit differently, you know. So, you know, I don't think why should be we should be shame of talking about it, you know, doesn't matter which party you do, you know, if you see, you know, I feel like you know, this in the council, I'm not right. yeah, I think, yeah, uh, I know you did, I don't know, but you always be 19, I think, I actually petitioned the council, yeah. and but mm -hmm. obviously, I wasn't successful. Um, but I did try. Um, uh, I know. I know you. You, you know I you live in Shadwell. Uh, yes, we managed to sort of uh, just uh, uh, you know get the works uh, to uh, sort of get the works suspended in Shadwell, but not generally. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I did try, and I had a lot of support. I think over two thousand people had signed that uh, petition. You know, two 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 and a half thousand. Sorry. Um, so and also like uh, LTN was another big factor in one of the by elections in West London, you know, in Boris Johnson's um, seat. Yeah, uh, that yeah. is why we lost there as well. You know, um, that was a very important issue. Um, anyway, time is running out. We got another three. Yes. Minutes, so we need to wrap up. Um, how about educa education? Uh, do you? Uh, what's your take? Do you think town is doing generally? Well, um, well, education, I would say, um, I will buy now. I also, um, I'm, a, I'm a parents governor at my local school in, in which is a Bangalore primary school where my children goes to. So you know, this is once one, um, you know, you know, when it comes to education, you know, I think you know our children are doing great. You know, children Chara Hamlets, you know, they, you know, we have got a lot of opportunities, you know, to you know to for our children in Chara Hamlets. But you know, um, yeah, what future is going to hold? I'm not really sure how with the whole budget cut and everything that's happening. You know, as you know, you know, with, especially with the education as well. You know, mm. and I see as as you know, children is our next next generation is our future, isn't it? You know, they're the ones going to be the next politician. They're, they're the ones going to be the next next doctors, next engineers. You know, you know. So mm. so why cut children education? You know, this is very sad. It does really upset me. You know, when I go to with school government meeting and, st and stuff, you know, when I hear, you know, schools are, you know, are struggling to make ends meet, you know, and they have to cut a lot of stuff, you know, they have cut staff, they have cut a um, lot of um, children's educations, you know, like, you know, sports, music, you know, to, to, to you know, to prioritize, prioritize on, on other stuff, like, you know, you know, so, mm. so it's, it's sad to see, like, you know, you know, children are missing out on, you know a lot of things that probably a few few years back ago you know people had the opportunity to do yeah exactly yeah which is very sad uh obviously yeah. you know it all comes down to like uh cuts from the central government you know uh, it's not helping yeah. 
Uh, but at least uh, in terms, I think compared to other boroughs, you know, we do have uh, a number of services to serve the you know uh, youth. Um, obviously, youth centres are well. Yeah, in, in that way, I would think we're still very lucky compared yeah. to other boroughs. You know, I think um, other boroughs in school even yeah. even struggling more than our hamlets. Yeah, generally we're doing better than average national average. By the way, that yes. is the yeah. consensus. Yeah, we're doing better. Uh, but I think uh, when it comes to like uh, subjects or specialities, uh, Bangladesh is. Yes, a lot of people are studying like, uh, you know, medicine, uh, accounting, engineering. But I think uh, the community needs to sort of focus more on like uh, banking. Uh, we don't have enough like uh, people yeah. in the banking sector and also you know, the I IT sector. You know, I, that's what that, that is the future. You know, that is where yeah. the Indians rule. Um, the AI, you know. Yeah, AI, yeah. AI cybersecurity and whatnot. Uh, that's the one area we really need to sort of focus on as a community. I really mm -hmm. like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's wrap up. We've got one minute, and all right, thank you for your oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. You know, it's very uh, um, pleasure, yeah, uh, having you, and uh, I'll, I'll invite you in the future, to, yeah, to talk thank about Thank you very much, thank you. Other, yeah. And thank you for your work as well, too, by the work you do is amazing. You know, you know, you've been for many years. You know, I know since I know you, and even probably even before you knew me, I knew you. You know, the work you used to do, and that you still do. You know, which you, you know, which is great. You know, you do for the people, you work for the community. You know, you always you. been the voice for the community all the time. Thank you, Anubhai. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, no, as a community worker, I feel for the community. I try to make it different like yourself. Um, you. So you. let's carry on uh, doing good for the community. And uh, until the next uh, uh, program, uh, I'll see you all. And thanks all for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum.